digital calipers have taken over completely how we do measuring in our woodworking. Uh, we used to start off with dial uh, calipers or vernier calipers, but digital are just so easy to read. So the eye gauging, we've got the 100 millimeters or four inch uh, easy cal. We've got the 150 mil or six inch easy cal, or we've got the original cal here, which is also 150 mil or six inches. The two easy cals here both have the same functionality. Smallest one being the 100 millimeters or four inches. If I turn him on, we can come back, make sure he's back to zero. As we bring him out with a thumb wheel, we can change it from millimeters to inches to fractions. If you get it to a particular size you're happy with, you can then lock him off. Otherwise, as you're using it, use the thumb wheel. When we're using the thumb wheel, we get to a particular size. You can't just force the caliper to make it measure what you want. It'll measure what the actual size is. So we're gonna use it between the two prongs here really for measuring things like our thickness of material. We can use the exterior prongs for measuring in between perhaps dovetails and we can use the end prong for actually measuring the depth into maybe a mortise or dovetails again. This smaller 100 millimeter or four inch easy cal is going to be really good because it's a nice size to maybe fit in your top pocket, your apron pocket or maybe even your back pocket. As you're going around a machine shop you can do that fine adjusting and then put him away nice and safe for the next time you're going to use him. The 150 mil caliper is my favorite size for most of the work that I do. One of the things I like about these is the size of the numbers on here, 14 mil high, really easy to read. So I might use him for checking out the size of my drill. So I've got a metric drill here, should say, should be 10 mil. Looks like it's more like 9.75. I've also got an imperial, so I can turn this from metric into fractions. This one's in it, 7 sixteenths. I've also then got a half inch shanked router cutter, but actually the cutter on it is metric and it should be coming up to just about a 15 millimeter. So we can use it for checking out our drills. Also, if we had drilled a hole, we might want to actually check the size of the hole is being drilled, particularly then if we're trying to turn up a spigot to suit a drilled hole that you've done. You may also use it perhaps for checking out the size of dowels or turn anything down to work that you have produced. The eye gauging Origin Cal is a slightly more expensive version. This one now we can have data output from the caliper straight to your laptops. If you're using this for engineering or trying to set up AutoCAD drawings from it, it's gonna be useful for that. Again, we have a battery compartment in here. IP54 as with the other calipers, which means they're good and safe from dust and moisture in any workshop environment. For this one, as the others, we can use it for checking our overall thickness of the material. We can use it for overall width of material. Again, just using that thumb screw so we come back nice and accurately. We can also use the two prongs here, external of those two prongs to measure the width perhaps of a groove and also the prong that comes out of the end, we can use him to measure the depth of a groove. The really difficult thing to measure actually is between here and up into the top of a groove because we can't get in there and measure that very accurately. To do that, what you ought to do is take your overall measurement, turn him to zero, if we then measure from the top edge to the top edge of the groove, it says it's 13.17. If I press this back to zero, you'll see here that that is giving us that same kind of 13 measurement, but that's not as accurate as the way I did it before. The final thing we have on these calipers is actually using the offset between the end of the one bar and the slider. This is the most accurate way to actually measure the depths of things like rebates. The eye gauging digital calipers are available for Woodworkers Workshop online. 
So if you want to get those in the UK or Europe, check out in the description below for links to our website.